Make it red. After Opie and Anthony Live with my guest, Bob Kelly. It's actually called the Bob and Sam Show. Apparently, I missed Rhonda's ass. Oh, God. I didn't see it. Well, how could you miss it? I don't know. I was. She is unbelievably Dude, she was, hot. She was really sexy. Mm. Uh, you felt her body on top of your body. I did, yeah. She took her thing off. She is really beautiful, man. Yeah. And she was, I knew she'd be fun, but she was really nice. Like, you never know if, like, you know, again, it's a woman fighter in a male sport. Will she have that weird, I have to prove myself? Of course. But she didn't. She was just fun and a, a really cool person. She's talking about her titties? Yeah. It's great. Well, her last fight, her boobs almost came out like five times. How did it feel to have her on top of you? Really felt good. Um, but I felt it like she, again, we were just talking, like she was being nice, like, because people told me, don't let her do it because she'll fucking hurt you. But she was, I could see being next to her, she was actually really nice. But when she was on top and she bent it back, it wasn't agonizing until that last second. And then I felt like, wow, she, because she ripped my one arm off the other arm. And you, you understand how fucked you are at that moment. Did she feel powerful? Like, the other guys, they feel powerful. Did she feel powerful uh, when course, she... Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you know, the fact that she's a woman, yeah. you're not thinking that. Like, you're thinking, like, wow, this is Rhonda's beautiful legs around me. But you're thinking, all right, I'm in a fucking bad spot here. But it wasn't... It was... At least it had to be a little more sexual than when BJ Penn had his legs wrapped Without around you. Without a doubt. You. Yeah, okay. Of course. I mean, it's, but, it, but it didn't feel sexual at all, honestly. Right. Um, other Did than it the, feel less sexual because there wasn't a penis on your elbow? Yeah, I wasn't used to it. It's actually a real woman. <laughs> but no, I didn't... Uh, you know, because I... It just... You know that she's showing you a move that can really fuck you up. Yeah. She's pretty badass. She's yeah. Great. And she's, she's gorgeous. Yeah. She, yeah, she, she really is gorgeous. She took the jacket off. I was, you know, most athlete, like like a lot of the women, don't have a butt. You know what I mean? Of course, so or it's shredded. like squared off or angled. Like a, yeah. Like a guy butt. Yeah. She was smoking hot. Yeah. Did it like it was a nice round? Whoa. 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 Hello. I almost said it. It almost came out. I was like, wow, what an ass. Mars, you're an ass aficionado over there. And a UFC guy. Well, yeah, but more importantly. That's yeah. funny. Wow, what an ass. That's what she wanted to say when she walked in. <laughs> she could roll asses. <laughs> Go ahead, boss, your turn. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's How is he? Did you see her ass? Round is fine. Yeah. She's completely fine. Yeah. What does she's that mean? The whole package. Not oh. like fine, like foin. Like, like F O I N. Mars said when she's like, yeah, she's fine when she took her thing off, which is, you know, she's a fucking female champion. He's fucking going, mommy, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> you said that to her? Like, you said, yeah, damn, said, she's. Thank you. Really? Who's this little kid? Oh, it's bringing your kid to work day, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's freaking Paul. Yeah, Uncle really. Paul. Hey, Mars, is George St. Pierre, do you, is he the best fighter? Whatever. Yeah, they're all on. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Is he the best fighter in the world? Arguably. I would, I've, I've, you know, that I, argument could be made, but what do you think? That's rough, man, because you yeah. got um, John Jones and you got Anderson Silver. John Jones guys. is up there now officially, huh? This is rough. So I would, I, uh, he's my favorite fighter. GSP John is. Jones? Uh, GSP. GSP is your favorite right. fighter. But a lot of people don't like don't like him because he's, not, he's ex not finishing the he, fight. He doesn't finish. He goes, the, he goes to decisions. But he beats your, sh your ass. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. Everybody that's fought him and yeah. hasn't been knocked out right. has certainly felt their eye sockets almost coming out. You know, they felt all that. Yeah, pain. but it's a different thing when you're watching the fight and you see uh, even Silver at the end with Shale coming back to win with a triangle, uh, beating the shit out of people, knocking people out, finishing people, and then you got George who's going the five rounds. You know, people who aren't fans of the sport. I like yeah yeah they don't like that shit they like a yeah. champ they like a champion finishing fights devastating their opponents and and George goes and he said it that's the way I fight if you don't like you might not like it whatever but I, that's the way I fight as a casual fan because I'm completely a casual fan I watch a fight every like four months or something you're just casual in general that, that's that's my vibe I would call you just casual. In everything you do, cash, You're just cash, you know, except for your hair. But <laughs> it's a little outlandish. Um, outlandish, I think so. I like. I, I far prefer watching Absolutely. a John Jones fight. Far prefer watching an Anderson Silva fight than a GSP fight. That's when, when you're a spectator. When you actually, you know, know about the sport or try to do it, you know, you know that. What's going on in that ring? If that guy's smashing you. For you don't five have to fucking. fucking to, you don't have to. That's, I think that's kind of bullshit too. That. I hate when people say that. When you do the sport, you don't have to fucking do jujitsu or fucking train to appreciate the fight. 
You, but you don't just you... need to know about jiu-jitsu. You need to know about wrestling. You need to know about the sport of MMA to watch him knowing what he's doing, knowing his tactic. He's taking him down. He's scoring a point. Then he's ground and pounding. He's getting points. But don't you think you gain a greater appreciation for it when you do it? You don't have to, though. I hate when people say that. You, you have, have to. When you better. train, you... It's better. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not better. It's, it's better if well, you, you f actually feel me smashing your face with my chest. I mean, I'm not hitting. I'm just saying. I'm just laying on you, right? And I'm working on you, and yeah, I'm smashing slow, slow, you. Slow down, slow down. You like what that, are you huh? doing? <laughs> you're we get on the floor. Wait, and yeah, like Ronda Rousey you're, stuff. You're, right, yeah, you're, laying, you're laying on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm laying is on Sam, you. Is Sam there or is Sam not there? No, I'm there. Sam's, Sam's there. Is I'm in the corner. I'm in a dark corner. <laughs> you, have a, you have a you have a lamp with a dimmer on it. Oh yeah. That keeps going up and down, mm -hmm. up and down. What? Up and down. What? That has a sound. I like. Oh yeah. Needs a little oil in it. What? What? Okay. And you're on my joke. Okay. So you're on me. Go ahead. I'm on you now. Okay, yeah, I'm slow moving down. around you. Moving around. You're going around. You're switching, switching positions. positions. There yeah. you go. And as I'm doing that, I am mm. smashing you at the same time. Smashing. Ah, yeah. oh, oh, smashing. Ah, smash, smash, smash it. Away. I don't think you need to know. I don't think I need to. I, I'm, I'm right there with you right now. I get it. I get it. Do you get it, Sam? Yeah, I get it. Bro, do you get it? Um, Just say yes. Does that have a mic? <laughs> but don't you think, like, you watch comedy differently than, some, than a spectator? Like, I could watch every comedian and still not have the same appreciation for it that you do. First of all, I don't like your... Uh, good example. <laughs> you know, fuck yourself with proving me wrong. Yeah. Second of all, no. No, not at all. Um, You're absolutely right, but no, yeah. I don't think that. Right, because it doesn't fit your argument. <laughs> I understand. No, I know what he's saying. I just hate when... I hate when because you don't break it. You it's, hate it because you don't do jujitsu. No, and you want to be 90, number one fan. No, 90% of the fans that like the sport don't fucking train. And b the people who are paying the bills don't train. Right. There's thousands, millions of people love the sport, and they're not going to a gym every Wednesday. They don't love it like Mars. And plus, yeah, but how many times do you train? But what what belt do you? I'm a brown belt. And okay, I, how many times a week do you train? Four times. Really? Really? Yeah, and you would, I would think you'd be five. in better shape. You know, Sam. That's the only you know, thing. Sam, that's, that's... Those lies. Yeah, those he, lies don't work. No, he's instructor shape. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, you know, you the kidding? instructors are always fat, and not not as great as the fighters themselves. Right. It's always because so... he's just demoing. No, he's not actually. Yeah, he's demoing and yeah. he's eating Bobby. pasta. <laughs> <laughs> got a carbo load, babe. Know got I'm a class. Fat. It's okay, not okay. fun. <laughs> yeah, right. You're calling me fat. Yeah, right. it, well, yeah, yeah, but you're you're in you're kind of in shape, which I'm, is worse. Sam, <laughs> would you tell him I'm in shape? You're not Say in truth. shape. You're in a shape. I'm Listen. in shape, my friend. Yeah, and that okay. shape is round, you You're know what I'm saying? Let me anyway. see. Pull up your shirt. Anyway. Now get on top. Okay, well, there's, <laughs> there was some jiggle in the titty when you pulled up your shirt just yeah, now. Yeah, just a little so, jiggle. Yeah, you, you know what you are? No. You're, you're, me you're Mexican in shape. <laughs> you know, there's no Mexican fighter with uh, abs, full abs. Right. He's got like two, four, but then there's always that little punch from tacos on the weekend. Yeah, you can't let it go. <laughs> and beers. <laughs> hey, but uh, when you do go see these fights, and you're right, there's yeah. like 80, 90% of the people that are there, they don't train, but they're the first ones to start booing. Mm -hmm. I, look, because they don't understand what the true. hell's going on. First of all, that's not true in every case. I don't like the fans that boo because they don't understand what's going on. But they're also, you understand, when when Pride was fighting, if you the action was slowed down, you'd you'd get five percent of your purse taken away. The, you, you get a you get a card, you get a red card, you get a yellow card and a red card. I believe it is. I might mm -hmm. be wrong. And and if you weren't pressing the action, you got your money taken away. Okay, do you understand? That's right. that's booing. So when there's there's, I understand they boo. Sometimes it's stupid shit, but sometimes they're booing when it's like, let's go motherfucker. I paid good money to see you fight. Stop leaning on somebody. Stop hanging against the cage for but, five but minutes. But right there, that leaning on somebody, that's actually doing something. See, um, you wouldn't get that, Bob. You don't train. I do get it, but it's You wouldn't fun. understand you know, that. Here's the thing, though. I get I've it. I've seen what Mars does, and it's, it's, it's a skill. <laughs> You've never seen me do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're right. I've seen you sit there with your thumb up your ass and talk about how good shape you're in. And yeah. I'm good at it. You know what Mars does? <laughs> the first 30 minutes of every class is him throwing punches, <laughs> like the karate kid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Fuck. Change positions. So you don't think Chael Sonnen has a shot against John Jones this weekend? I never said that. Well, you said John Jones was possibly the best player in the world, pound for pound, top three. Possibly, yes. Do you think you think he's going? Chael Sonnen can beat him. Chael Sonnen was in this week. Obviously, he'll be on the countdown on over the weekend. But I can tell you, I I'll tell you right now that he's uh, capable of putting him on his back, maybe for a second or so. Mm -hmm. um, but John Jones is. Uh, 
I think even on his back, he's going to be able to sweep and turn things around. So John Jones wins. Uh, let's be John honest. Jones so. Let's be honest. John Jones is a heavyweight. Yes, absolutely right. John You're Jones absolutely is right. This John is Jones a big is not, dude. He doesn't John belong Jones in that is a light heavyweight. Yes. John Jones yes. can make light heavyweight, but he's a heavyweight fighter. Yes. So he's going to win. If you watch his fights, they look cartoonish because he's so much bigger, and so much height, mm -hmm. and 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 reach. And he, then the, his other opponent, Rashad fight. Watch any of the when they start. He's the, his opponents are always looking up. Yesterday, <laughs> fucking weird. Yes. Their necks are hurting because they have to look up to him. Yesterday, Chael said that the smaller guy has the advantage. Okay, when is he, that something the small guy says? When he <laughs> when he said that, you keep in mind that we're talking about the same division, though. He doesn't of mean like you know if I'm 150 pounds, I'm gonna take on a 200. 230, yeah. Right. If I'm in the same lightweight, uh, light heavyweight division at 205, right. mm -hmm. well, he's saying that the lighter guy has more speed. Mm -hmm. And maybe he's saying that because he's the lighter guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah. when you get a bigger guy that is just as good as you, just as fast, you know what, the little guy has But you know what Chael Sonnen can do better than John Jones? Speak. Talk people into a building. That's true. Sell tickets. He is good. Yeah. You know? He is good. Yeah. But what happened? That's that's why UFC is so fucked up to me because of my world that I've surrounded myself in for so long. Like I'm sitting here going, Chael Sonnen is a guy that can talk people into a building. Yeah. So in my mind, this is a guy who should have a career forever. He should be in main yeah, events he, just forever. But here's the thing: but if though, he keeps he losing fights, he can't. Yeah, no, no, he's, fuck, been, he's lost every fight. He's yeah. the, the last two fight he's, fights he's lost. Uh, not last two. Last he's lost to Silva twice. He went and just got a championship fight because of his mouth. Yeah. Got another right. one because of his mouth. But how right. long can lost, that last in UFC? Apparently forever because he got another one in another <laughs> division <laughs> right away. Yeah. You don't like that. I don't give a fuck about it. Oh. I don't. I look. I like fights. I I love seeing. I love this weekend. I like fight. talking. I love. <laughs> I love <laughs> talking. You, that's why you're radio. <laughs> yeah, baby. Radio Sam. <laughs> I love the fights. I I I'm, uh, this fight this weekend with Chael and 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 uh, Jones. I can't wait for it. It's great. I don't. I know the outcome. I think Jones is gonna kill him. But you never know with a fight. True. You never. George St. Pierre got knocked the fuck out. What, lost his belt to Matt Sarah. What do you think of all the talking? Uh, like, do you like somebody like Chael Sonnen? I like Chael Sonnen. As a matter of fact, I didn't like him at first. Right. Till he came here and I he saw disrespected the, real... the sport that you train in. No, was not that, at was all. That it? <laughs> no. It was just the, the, the whole WWE <laughs> shit talking. They don't I, talk like that in the dojo. Nobody's no. stealing superstar Billy Graham you, lines. <laughs> you respect in the dojo. Oh. <laughs> he, he threw Brazil, uh, he threw jiu-jitsu under the bus. Yeah, he did. Oh, he yeah, said he it did. just yeah, stinks. Yeah, Go yeah, fuck yourself. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, though, wrestlers. Yeah. The, you mean, you mean the, real wrestlers? Wrestlers' strength, like, yeah. like Chael and those fucking... Brock. It's stupid yeah. strength, though. There's nothing. There's nothing that can beat a guy that can just take you to the ground and throw you on your head and hold you down. You're, You're absolutely right. I yeah. agree. And they that. didn't have that back when uh, the Gracies and the UFC won. Wrestlers didn't know they had wrestlers, but they didn't have the motherfuckers. Now, none of the fact that the guy knows how to get out of a move yeah. and throw a punch and take you down. I think Chael does have a, uh, I wouldn't, uh, a fighting chance, but. Uh, Jones is a wrestler too. Yes, Jones is. is is a not a championship, not uh, not like Chael, but he's he's up there. Yes, I love is. watching John Jones fight, and maybe that's because he's cool with me when he comes up here. I don't know, but I love watching him fight. But I was saying my perspective mm -hmm. in terms of how much I like Chael Sonnen. That's because you're from New Rock. Is that it? Yeah, New man. Rock New City. Rock. Yo, Ray Rice, Super Bowl champion, New Row. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> anyway. Yes. Back to the Bob and Sam show. Right. Uh, I don't know if that's what we're going yeah, we're with, with, go with the name. We might Bob, switch that. Bob but and Sam. My perspective on this UFC. Hashtag Bob and Sam. Like to me, I, we'll go Sam Bob for the hashtag, hashtag at least. Hashtag Bob and Sam. Uh, maybe like so. or BS because that's no, what it is. No. Um, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> like that? Sam. You could always turn off the mic. It, I know, but I know that's not how I play the game. No, okay. right. You can't do that in the Bob and Sam show. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I was just trying well, to. I don't, I don't use this as a source of power. It's not how I play the game. Really? Yeah. That's news yeah. to me. I don't do that. <laughs> you know what, Mark? <laughs> you can have all the news you want. Nobody can hear you. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I mean, you I'm know what, kidding. though? What, I mean, he, he's so honorable in the dojo, but then he'd, he'd do some type of evil move like that. Like, right. turn my mic down. I, I think you need to talk to your master. I was going to say, my favorite moment in all the UFC that I've ever seen was Brock Lesnar, after his fight, 
shitting all over Budweiser, the sponsor, and saying, I'm going to go have a Coors Light. Like, to me, when he just started shooting off at the mouth, I'm like, greatest thing I've ever seen. And I was watching with a room full of people who actually, like, are MMA fans, and they're all going, oh, what a fucking asshole. This is terrible. That's not what this is about. And I'm arguing, this is great. What are you talking about? Me and Jimmy were there. You were? Oh, it was so great. Yeah, it was, right? Yeah, it was, and that, but that's good for business thing, because people now want to go buy tickets to watch him get his ass kicked. I was mad, too, but I knew why I was mad because I'm a wrestling fan. Right. He's so a heel. You're supposed I, to be mad. I, I, I was just as mad when, he was, when I watched him in wrestling <laughs> and he yeah. came out with that stupid What you saying about Stephanie McMahon? No. <laughs> Joe, uh, Brother Joe is on the hotline. What's up? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Um, I just wanted to... Uh, I, I, I watched um, on the UFC channel the other day. I watched... Uh, who was it? Uh, come on, Tim Sylvia when he fought um, Randy Couture. When Randy Couture made his comeback, yeah. it was a while ago. Great but uh, you you were talking about the smaller guy having the advantage. Tim Sylvia being six eight and having a reach of like eighty five inches. The guy was huge. I mean, yeah, but... Randy Couture, who's not a short guy. You know, in 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 the uh, octagon with him, he looked like a he looked miniature, and he just beat the crap out of him, man. But here's the, the thing, though: it's a different UFC too. Uh, Tim Sylvia back then, he was the champ, but the, the champ, the, the 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 caliber of fighter in, in in the the weight classes now is totally changed. I believe it's it's the UFC is a totally different. Sport. How long ago is that? That's that's what that's five like, five six years yeah. ago. Okay, so eight, it was like eight. I yeah, think. something like that. It was. It's crazy. Like the guy, the heavyweights now that are fighting are the top guys in the world, and they know everything. They know right. how to fight. They know jujitsu. Ju ju it's they know not wrestling. like karate guy versus wrestler anymore. Well, I mean, look at Randy Couture was. Uh, he was a championship wrestler, and he was that was at his uh, kind of peak. I mean, he was light heavyweight champ, mm -hmm. and he was heavyweight champ. I mean, he was at his peak at that point. He was really kicking ass. And, uh, That's true. I guess, I guess comparing uh, you know that fight to what goes on uh, today in, in the octagon is kind of like comparing Dan Severn uh, being uh, yeah. you know, I mean, a legitimate yeah. MMA guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing is, like, you know, John Jones is fucking great. Chael Sonnen is great. They're would, two fucking unbelievable fighters. How would Dan Severn do in an octagon now? He, with his mustache? Uh, with his stash. He would, because he has the mustache, that gives him his strength. He would kill. He would kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, brother Joe. See you later, brother. I think Dan Severn fought not too long ago. Thank you for calling the Bobby and Sam show, by the way. No, we go Sam and Bob. He's yeah, but trying. not in UFC. No, no, of course not. Of yeah. course not. But he's yeah. trying. Who? Uh, who? Uh, Dan Severn. I know. That's the that's saddest sad. part it about is. this sport. That you know, that's like you know. Give it up, man. And around ten years of Voss is trying to you know do a show, <laughs> not a, not at Caroline's, but like in front of Caroline's. Yeah. <laughs> Racist Francesa has a question for Bob. Racist Francesa, by the way, he calls the after show yeah out of character, and that's something we bring. Really? Well, the Bob and Sam show. Go ahead. That's correct. Good morning, boys. <laughs> morning. Good morning. You have to drop the shield. But I like the fucking Bobby. I like your take, man. You're a fight expert, man. But Sonnen and Jones is good. But let's talk about a real fight. Who wins? Cena or Ryback? Come on, give it to me, big boy. Who I, wins, Bobby? I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to have to. I, look, I think Cena is a, a little out of his league. I think Ryback. I guess Ryback? Listen, Ry, feed me more, baby. Yeah, you're a Ryback feed guy. Feed me more. I like how one of his nipples is always out. <laughs> uh, I, I think He went through a period where he had pink eye in every match. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I think that Ryback is going to uh, he's going to be the next big motherfucker. He's going to be the next face. He's going to take the belt. He's going to put a pounding on Cena and he's going to use the the shield to do it. I think uh, I think you're right about Ryback being the next guy. I don't think it's going to happen just now though. Oh, of course it can't happen now. Yeah. Why would we why wouldn't we prolong this for a year? Well, and also I think, you know, John Cena's not going to give up his spot anytime soon. Yeah, but people are getting you can hear Cena's getting rock what the rock did is fucked Cena. Because Cena, before The Rock came back mm -hmm. and started calling him out, and you can't see me, and Fruit Loops, and, <laughs> and all that shit. And just destroying every catchphrase and every t-shirt. Every... I mean, Cena did the same thing to Rock, though. He fucking exposed yeah, him for a Yeah, because Dummy had his, had his promo, The Rock comes back, and he's like the number one promo guy. Yeah. And this asshole has his promo written on his hand. And he called him out. And Cena, like, for real, not as part of the storyline, 
comes to the ring and points out, like, yo, what's on your hand, buddy? Ah, uh, that's fucked up. Though. And The Rock got fucking pissed. It, you could see it in his face. It got him pissed, but it also fucked him up because he started, he wasn't The Rock after that. Well, please, have you seen The Rock wrestle this year? He's not The Rock anymore. Of course he's not The Rock, but he's still The Rock, dude. But he's not The Rock. Right, that fucking music happens. He comes out. Hey, fuck you, dude. He has he's, this, no, he's he not. bring it. He's not. His Wait. cardio is terrible. He's blown up five what? minutes into a match. Well, he got hurt, right? And yeah, and he, he got, got hurt at WrestleMania. Did he? Severely. Too. Yeah, his what like, uh, wasn't it? It was like his ab or his pelvis or something Some like that. Like the muscle muscles. got torn off. Like he yeah. missed the stupid uh, premiere of whatever movie he's in, Pain and Gain, because he had to go get That's surgery right. on it. Right. Oh my god! They had to move his intestines and stuff around. You know, they were actually. I was reading in uh, in his what in, his intestines. In, intestines. Yes, they had to rearrange everything. They were going to set up a story yeah. between The Rock and Brock Lesnar mm -hmm. right after WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And The Rock flew out of town right after WrestleMania because he was like, my shit is fucked up. I have a rumor that I want you to tell me if it's true or not. Did The Rock get into a fight with Vince McMahon after WrestleMania? No, he didn't get into a fight. People are saying on the Internet that uh, he left Angry. without without telling anyone. That he just And then he was just, they were like, we have you ready for Raw. And he was like, good, I'm not in town. I left. But he says that everybody knew that he was not going to be there. Right. He was, but he was scheduled scheduled to be at that raw, right. and that's when they were going to start a Brock Lesnar deal with him. Well, they need to they need to bring CM back into the fold and let him be the guy. Punk's leaving for a little while. It, why? He's got to take some time off. He's been carrying that shit. Yeah, he's but he but, but you know what Michael right Bay now? said Who? that bothered me. You know Michael Bay is he's the guy who did Transformers and all that. Yeah, he's at this premiere. Mm -hmm. Right. And The Rock no showed because he had his pelvis shit messed up. Yeah. And uh, some reporter asked him about it. And he said, yeah, The Rock. I, I mean, I guess he was joking. Yeah. But he goes, yeah, The Rock had to miss the premiere to go get surgery. The Rock's got to grow up and stop wrestling 300 pound men. And I'm like, you're, you're this motherfucker. This 50-year-old dude yeah. who's directing Transformers and Ninja Turtles movies yeah. is telling people to grow up. And they're not 300 pound, by the way. This, this is around maybe two of those. Yeah. yeah. Right back in Big Show. I'd say between 230 and 250. Yeah. I mean, those, those are athletes, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To grow well, up, he what, says. Well, should he grow up and chase a fake robot on a green screen? Yeah, what the look, fuck are you talking about, Michael talk Bay? Should he talk to a fucking tennis ball yeah. like, it's a, like it's a monster? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Michael Bay, the greatest action director of all time, except James Cameron. How do you like that? Michael Bay lives his entire so life realizing he didn't make Avatar. How does yeah. that feel? Make another Transformers movies. Bitch. Yeah. yeah, well, he's making it with Mark Wahlberg now. Pain and Gain? or No, the new Transformer. That's what Marky Mar Mark is doing now? This is, first of all, his name's not Marky Mark. It is if he's in the Transformers. Whoa. Are we, you, Whoa. you know who you want to say that to? <laughs> Marky Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to fucking... He said he told TMZ he would bring back the Funky Bunch to benefit Boston. Would he? Yeah, that's what he told TMZ. Yeah. I tell you this. Uh, I met him at a party once. Mm -hmm. I went to this party uh, in L.A. It was the most surreal fucking party I've ever been to. Some How'd house, you get in? I, me and Dane were going to, he goes, I'm going to this party, you want to go? I'm like, well, I don't give a fuck. We pull up. Everybody thought I was Michael Chiklis, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, we get out. As we go into the party, it's some house. It's like a fuck. What are you doing? I have a, you keep talking. You, it's radio. Yeah, but what are you doing? I There's need no to be, visual element. Just keep I, fucking talking. So first of all, don't ever swear at me on the Bob and Sam show. <laughs> Hashtag called. Bob and Sam. Listen. I have a live read somewhere what? in this room that I have to find. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, ask for ask for help, asshole. Just keep going, man. I'd stop yelling. Keep fucking this talking. This show's not gonna work if you have this fucking attitude, man. I think I'm one of the interns might have thrown it. I'm off. gonna talk to somebody about this. Talk to the audience. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the management about your attitude. Is it a Steven Singer? All right. No so. I walked in. As you were saying, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Mars. Thank I, you very much, Mars. I walked in. Dustin Hoffman walked by me. Lawrence Fishborn was right in front of me. Fish you call Fishborn? 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 Whatever the fuck is his name. Fishburn, whatever his name is. You call him Curtis? The guy who had the daughter who fucking banged some dudes. Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, and then um, Marky Mark is walking out. It's Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Marky Wahlberg. <laughs> Marky Wahlberg. <laughs> What's up, Marky Wahlberg? <laughs> and I know his brother. I'm friends with his brother. Donnie? No, Jimbo. Yeah. Who's a great guy. I guess, but he's not one of the, you know. He what's is. he, the one that earned, owns the burger joint? No. Not even that one, huh? 
But I, I Wahlberger. Mean, I, look, man, first of all, these guys will all punch you in the face. You're right. You're right. So You're right. They're from Dorchester. You're Let's right. not get carried away with your, hey, I'm on the radio, I'm safe, because I will tell them you where you live. I got all excited about the I Michael will. Bay thing, yeah, and I apologize. Settle down. I apologize. <laughs> That's but he, reality. Yeah, you're right, Mark. He's walking apologize. out, and this is this is what a piece of shit I am. I went, hey, I go, hey, Mark, how you doing? I know your brother. I'm friends with your brother. <laughs> and he stopped. He goes, good. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> just fucking left. And we're just sitting there like, yeah, yeah. I deserve that. Yeah, yeah that's they, exactly they what that should have gotten. I think Dustin Hoffman rolled his eyes. Oh. <laughs> one of these. Yeah. Listen, there's one thing that can make you feel better, Bobby. I know. I know what makes me feel better. Makes me feel better every day. What? When I go to... Uh, Yo, that. Snoop Dogg just walked me. Oh, there he is. Uh, Snoop right. Dogg just walked in. No, it's Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. I'm sorry. What's the matter with you? Get sorry. Size, baby. Mark Wahlberg and Snoop Lion. Yeah. Right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's outside the window. right next behind, to me in here. Behind the monitors. Anyway, if you think that's good news, you should hear about what's going on in Canada. Steven Singer has really done it this time. So tall. He's really tall. Yeah, not Steven Singer. No, no. But Steven's now offering FedEx shipping to Canada. Really? I don't know if people know that. Yeah, that's right. Canada. That's hard to do, you know. You think it's easy, but it's not. It's not. It's not. I've tried to get stuff. You thought it was a booger, but it's not. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's Canada. Now you can shop <laughs> online at IHateStevenSinger.com. Okay, Anthony just drove his car off the fucking road. And have every... <laughs> Does that mean that seat's empty? He just shot his fucking Damn. own leg. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And have everything... You really would. You yeah. really would. He would I'm trying to talk budget. about jewelry. <laughs> Go. You, you can ship the jewelry to Canada. I, I would not drink anything Sam gave me if I was on the show. <laughs> He's waiting for one of the motherfuckers to uh, die soon. He thought, Nor <laughs> He's mad that Norton actually got into shape. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You grab me a juice? Not you, Sam. <laughs> yeah. He hears Norton got into shape. Anthony's not drinking. This year, so pissed. hope he's married now. He's depending family. on Anthony's alcoholism. Wake up, fucking face down in a pool, so he could sit in. At this point, I'm just hoping those kids stress out. Opie, I need that blood pressure up. I need something going on. This year, Stevens really come through. He's yes. got a beautiful super silver argentium mother and child diamond necklace. What? It's only 149 dollars. Get out of here. So whether you're shopping for your mom, your wife. You're about to have a baby. Bob. I'm gonna have a You're baby. You're gonna have to start thinking about this stuff. I might get this. Yeah. How much is it? Could be your mother-in-law. It's only 149. dollars I'll tell you why that's a good gift. Because it's not too crazy, but it's not too cheap. Exactly. That's why it's a good gift. And because Stephen makes it so easy, you don't have to screw it up. Give mom a gift that will last a lifetime. Go right mm -hmm. online to IHateStevenSinger.com. Check out the Super Silver Argentium Mother and Child Diamond Necklace. Sounds like a sci-fi show. This beautiful <laughs> necklace is going to make her Mother's Day special. Yeah. Visit Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut, or call him free at 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER. Online with free shipping to the U.S. at IHATE-STEVEN-SINGER.COM. He's going to make your Mother's Day shopping so easy. That's when it, is, Bobby. When is Mother's Day? I don't know. Ask Steven. Call him up. May 12th. He'll May 12th. How do you know? Because that's the day before my wife's birthday. You know, you, are you getting your mom anything? My mom? Yeah. Probably not, huh? Why are we going there, Maybe man? Maybe right hook. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure. Why? Is he not like his mom? Look, yeah. we got to go. There's right. a whole history with that. All right. Ron and Fez are coming up next. You're going to have a great show. Bobby, yeah. thank you for doing this thank, with me. Thanks for uh, um, uh, a pleasure doing the Bob and Sam show. Uh, Mars, Hashtag. you know that's not the name of the show. Right. Hashtag. And we will see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.